Drive to Escape. This is Raw Rainey here doing another video. Tonight we're going to be going over a basic brake bleed on the 2013 to 2016 Ford Escape. All we're going to need is some DOT4 brake fluid, a clear plastic water bottle, 10 millimeter open wrench, and clear flexible tubing so we can also see the fluid. So here we have a brand new rotor. And to install that, we had to take the whole caliper off and compress the caliper piston. When that happens, you run the risk of air bubbles going down your lines or junk being dislodged and clogging it. So we want to get all the bubbles and junk out that we just moved around. Now we're going to be doing the basic bleed. Right here is your bleeder valve covered by a rubber stopper. We're going to take that off. You can see the valve nipple right there. Your maximum and minimum levels on your brake fluid reservoir. Make sure your fluid does not go below the minimum notation, otherwise during your brake bleed you might be pulling more air and you'll just be adding more air bubbles to the line. As you add your fluid, put your cap back on the reservoir so that you can maintain pressure. So just to go over the setup one more time, we have a brake fluid reservoir we're going to keep an eye on. We have our line and water bottle down on the floor with the cardboard if anything spills. And we have the lovely assistant, my wife, pressing the brake pedal to get everything going. Okay, pump. Hold. Open. Closed. Pump. This line's actually looking pretty good because there aren't any small air bubbles. There's no real gaps in the um, brake fluid going into the water bottle. Right now, this fluid's actually looking very clean and very continuous. Guys, well, that's a wrap for our basic brake bleed. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like it. Please share it. If you see more of our videos, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and the button below. Thanks for watching How to Escape. We'll see you for the next one.